Tottenham have some talented young players out on loan at the moment across the Football League and Europe. In the recent past players who the club loaned out were unlikely to have a future in Mauricio Pochettino's plans. However, that has now changed with the Spurs boss monitoring their process and every player has six-month reviews at the club. Here's how all of Spurs loan players got on at the weekend and how they're doing so far at their new clubs, Marcus Edwards the 20-year-old midfielder put in a star showing on Sunday to turn the Aradivisi match between Excelsior Rotterdam and FC Emmen on its head. Michael De Liu had put Emmen ahead on 59 minutes but Edwards, playing on the right of a front three, sprung into action. He fired home three minutes later with a dribble and low shot into the bottom left corner to level the game with his second goal of the season, before setting up Dennis Eckert to score the winner another three minutes later, Edwards' second assist of the season. After finding himself as an unused substitute for Rotterdam throughout much of November and December, Edwards has burst to life in 2019 and has been a regular start. He won plaudits for a man of the match performance earlier this month as Excelsior Rotterdam beat Feyenoord 2-1. Edwards has made 12 starts and two substitute appearances in the Eredivisie for the Dutch side this season, scoring twice and laying on two assists, and this was one of his best displays of his loan. He has now completed more take-ons per game, 3.6, than any other player in the Dutch top flight this season. With his contract expiring in 2020, there will certainly be a big decision to be made this summer over a player who appears to be finding his feet in the senior game. Kazaya Sterling with Spurs failure to move on Vincent Jansen on deadline day and his subsequent return to first-team training, young striker Kazaya Sterling was sent out on loan to get first-team football at promotion Chasing Sunderland in League One. At Sunderland he's suffered somewhat from another striker's presence being felt with Will Griggs signed for £3 million on deadline day after Sterling's arrival. Black Cat's boss Jack Ross had reportedly been content just to add Sterling rather than pay such a large amount, but as chairman Stuart Donald pushed the deal through before the window closed. Greg's arrival and recovery from an ankle injury and a knock for Sterling has meant that the Spurs youngster has missed out on the squad for two of the club's last three games and been an unused substitute in the other. Sunderland fans are calling on him to get a chance after all of those games ended in draws and, especially after he had impressed on his debut, while Greg was still out injured. However, Ross has now revealed that Sterling missed out this weekend with a knock. We thought he would be okay, but he had to pull out quite late on, he said. He's trained today Monday. But obviously it's been a little bit stop-start for him with a couple of knocks. The 20-year-old had got 30 minutes under his belt after coming off the bench in the 1-0 win against AFC Wimbledon. Ross said after that game, to cause his credit he traveled up late on Thursday night and arrived early hours Friday. He wanted to be with us first thing Friday and he only met the players on Friday. I don't even know if he knows everyone's names in the team. He is a nice young man. It is very different to what he has been playing in, it will help us through and get him some decent game time will help him too. The Chronicle said that Sterling made a promising start on his debut in their ratings, while the Sunderland Echo said of his contribution in their player ratings exactly what was expected. 
raw but quick and very aggressive, pressing relentlessly and trying to make runs into space. One Sunderland fan told Football.London, I thought he was good given he's been here one full day and coming on part way through the game, was going after every ball and made some good runs was unlucky to be offside or he was in on goal. He's not short of confidence at all. Now it's all about whether Sterling gets the game time to prove himself. Josh Anama it has been a couple of months to forget for Josh Anama. Pochettino told Football. London last month that he was considering recalling the injured Anama from his Sheffield Wednesday loan. In the end the decision was made to keep him at the championship club, particularly with the arrival of Steve Bruce, who helped develop the 21-year-old midfielder at Aston Villa. However, after Anama made his return to action from an injury which has kept him out for around a month from the bench with 25 minutes to go in the 1-0 win at Ipswich Town earlier this month, he picked up another injury which is set to keep him out for four weeks. Josh is extremely disappointed like we all are, said Bruce. It has been a stop-start season for him. It is a shame as the people of Sheffield have probably not seen the best of him. He was terrific for me at Aston Villa last season. He has got all the traits that a young player needs. He is big, strong, and quick and can play in a few positions. The kid deserves a bit of luck, but how often have we seen that in football where you have one injury and you end up getting another one? Anama has made eight starts so far, with four substitute appearances, and has bagged three assists. Cameron Carter-Vickers After a stuttering start to the season, the 21-year-old defender has worked his way into the Swansea team as a regular in the back four. Cameron Carter-Vickers now has 10 championship starts this season to his name, with six substitute appearances. In the 2-1 defeat to promotion Chazing Leeds United on Saturday Wales Online gave Carter Vickers a 6 in their player ratings. A few important interventions early on as Leeds dominated the ball, but the centre-back had a real tough job on his hands, with Bamford among those causing all sorts of problems, wrote reporter Ian Mitchellmore. There was talk of the USA International returning during the January window to be sent out somewhere else, as he did last season in moving from Sheffield United to Ipswich, however he now looks settled at Swansea, and a full season in Wales could do him the world of good in his development. Anthony Georgiou the 21-year-old Cypriot international left winger will be looking to get his first taste of senior league football after making the lone switch to Levante on transfer deadline day. Anthony Georgiou made his debut for Spurs last season in the Champions League at Apple Nicosia. It appears that Georgiou will be part of the club's B team for now and made his debut for them earlier this month with 26 minutes from the bench against CF Badalona in Segunda Division B. He was an unused substitute for Sunday's match at Lida Esportu. Conor Ogilvy often forgotten among the more lauded stars in Tottenham's academy, Conor Ogilvy has been quietly going about making his name in the football league. The left back, who turned 23 on Valentine's Day, extended his loan with Gillingham until the end of the season, and he's been a near-ever present for the League One side since November, appearing 17 times as well as playing in the FA Cup and Chaka Trade Trophy. On Saturday, he played the full match as the Gills beat Gillingham 1-0. Ogilvy's contract ends this summer, and he's likely to move on but he should be able to pick up a new club in the English game with little problem at all. 
Samuel Shashawu another young Spurs midfielder who made his way to Spain for first-team experience. The 19-year-old attacking midfielder is making the most of his experience with Atletico Ballers in the same division as Spurs teammate Giorgio. Shashawa has appeared in 22 matches and scored four goals and weighed in with two assists. On Sunday he played 82 minutes on the left as Ballers won 1-0 at Ubconquence. The talented teenager has another year left on his contract when he returns, and it will be interesting to see where his career takes him next. Keep up to date with the latest Tottenham Hotspur news, features and exclusives from football. London VOR free WhatsApp service. Text news to 077 and then add the number to your phone contacts book as spurs.london, case sensitive, with spaces, to receive daily updates and breaking news from Alasdair Gold and the team on Spurs. Your phone number won't be shared with any other members of the group. Click here for more information on the service.